What you guys got another video here for you on how to permanently and securely delete files on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now removing files from your operating system, if you go through the recycle bin, these can be restored and recovered by using data recovery software. But how would you go about securely erasing these files completely so you couldn't recover these? Well, there's a bunch of different ways of going about doing this. So let's first take a look at the normal deleting method by right clicking on a folder and hitting the recycle bin here and deleting or hitting the delete key on your keyboard. This will then put it into your recycle bin and you can empty the recycle bin or you can go to the properties here and take a look at the settings for the recycle bin. As you can see here, custom size, maximum size is 5,088 megabytes. You can make this more or less depending on what size you want to keep it at. So any folders that are above 5,088 megabytes, it will automatically delete that folder uh, without going to the recycle bin. You can also put the radio button in do not move files to recycle bin and remove the files immediately when deleted if you wish. I tend to leave that um, on default rather than using that method just in case you want to restore something. But looking at here, we can restore these files once they go to the uh, recycle bin by clicking the restore button and that should restore the folder which has all your data in it. So how can we permanently delete stuff on Windows 11 and Windows 10? If I highlight this folder here, this is a 500 megabyte folder, hold the shift key down and hit the delete key on your keyboard and it would automatically delete the folder without any prompt box. If you hit the recycle bin here, it's going to ask you whether you want to permanently delete this folder. So whether you hit the recycle bin or whether you hit the delete key, depending on which is the way you want to do it, they will both permanently delete that folder and it will skip the recycle bin and completely erase that folder from your computer. So let's take a look at some other ways of permanently deleting files and folders from your computer. So let's move on to the next one here. The next one we're going to look at is PowerShell. So let's go ahead and type PowerShell in the search box here and open up PowerShell. Now you can run it as administrator if you wish. I'm just going to run this as is. So we just open up PowerShell, there we go. And you can see the folder on the left hand side here. And if I type out this command here, it will permanently delete that folder. It will bypass the recycle bin and completely remove the folder. So let's go ahead and type this out here. So we're gonna type in here, remove, and then dash item, and then space. And then we need to copy the path of this folder here. So what you can do, type dash path, and then we can right click on the folder and then copy as path here. So let's go down and right click and copy as path. And this could be a very large folder full of data and you can paste that in here like so. And then what we need to do here is go space and then we need to type the last part of the command here. So dash re curse and then just push enter on the keyboard and this will then remove that folder permanently and it will just delete it like so. And it's gone so it's basically using the powershell command there now of course you can set up a script or whatever it is you want to do to drop that into and then it will delete that folder if you wanted to but that's for another video so let's move on to another way of doing it now another way of doing it is using software there's plenty of software out there that will secure erase um, folders from your computer and you can see this one here is called wipe file and you can go into the cross here. I've already dragged that 500 megabyte file here. The wipe method will give you a bunch of different options available here, which is uh, NATO standard, Peter Gutterman, and so on, which will heavily uh, erase this folder to stop it from being able to be recovered using data recovery software. Once you've chosen your option, you can click on uh, wipe, and it will then ask you whether you want to wipe this file so you can overwrite and delete it and you can then see it will go through a bunch of overwriting processes to make sure that this is not going to be able to be recovered. Now you don't have to use this method for every single folder that you have on your PC that you want to delete but maybe you've got a folder of personal files or photos that you have that you want to erase from a computer and you can use this method to securely erase that folder from the computer so it won't make it recoverable just before maybe you sell your computer. You can delete all the data by this method and then format the PC and it should be good and you shouldn't be able to recover any data. 
Another one is using the eraser. There's a program you can download and install called Eraser, and it will do pretty much the same thing. It will tell you that you can erase any folder or files. You can empty and erase files from the recycle bin, and you can go into Eraser itself, and you can set up and change some settings that you may want to use on this program. You can drag and drop files and folders in here. You can also set up the file erase method by using whatever you want here, default driver erase method, and a bunch of other stuff like randomize your data source and things like that. You can also force lock folders to be unlocked to, for erase and things like that on this program. So it's a pretty good program. You can add files, folders, and remove them by just putting them in that little list at the bottom there. So a pretty powerful tool for removing uh, your personal data from the computer here. And eraser has been around for a very long time. So that is the two software methods here. Let's take a look at a couple of more methods so we can wrap this video up. So let's take a look at the next method, which is another useful method to know just in case you want to do it this way as well. So this way is by doing it by a batch file here. I've got a batch file in my Windows directory here. If you want to know how to do this, let me know in the comments section below and I'll set this up. But when you go to the show more here, you'll see perm delete here. I've set this up to do a permanent delete of this folder and I can now push enter and it will permanently delete that quicker than you can do it any other way. So batch files are super powerful. And if you want to know how to do that, let me know in comment section below and I'll do my best to make that video for you. But as you can see, here, I'll do one more here and use the perm delete here. You can call it whatever you like. I've called mine perm delete and it will permanently delete that folder from your PC. It will skip the recycle bin and permanently erase it on your PC. So that is using the batch file method. You can also use a command prompt here. So let me just do one in command prompt and then we can wrap the video up. Now there's a few other ways you can do it as well, but I think this is enough for this video. So let's go into command prompt here and type change directory to our desktop. And now what we've got here is a folder on our PC called wipe and I'm gonna delete that folder. So let's go rmdir space forward slash q space forward slash s and then just type out the folder name which is called wipe push enter and that folder will be erased from your computer pretty straightforward that's using the command prompt there as well so there's a few methods there on how to permanently erase your files and folders i hope you've enjoyed the video if you enjoy this type of content maybe consider joining my youtube members group to show your support you can head over there and hit the join button and you get a few extra perks if you join the members program. It costs $4.99 a month and you can cancel at any time. It's just a little way of showing your appreciation to the sort of content I make here on YouTube. Just like these people here have joined my YouTube members group. Their names are rolling up on the screen right now. Your name will be added to this list. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.